that Navajo jacket if you want it. It'll fit. I'll take it. Uh, so I need a jacket. It's an extra large. It's a Pendleton. It's uh, it's a it's a three hundred. I'm not going to tell you how much it is. Man, I don't know how much it is yet. I, you know, I'm already going to waive the emergency fee for today, so you're all right. No, don't yeah. do that. I well, you know. bought me a shirt. Two shirts. You said that off the loud. This client buys me clothes. I buy the second she, clothes. The second you start buying me boxers, we're going to have stuff start. Oh, to well, that. then your wife will know I'm yeah. stalking. <laughs> that's all right. That's, that's not for long anyway. She won't have. <laughs> she will not be happy. <laughs> all right. Way too much fun in these rooms. Okay, know. and we have here our uh, our neighborhood uh, buck of ducks. <laughs> Mr. Eddie at the post office gave him the stud <laughs> title. <laughs> so, okay, this is stud muffin. We just, I, I don't know about the muffin part, but I just made the rest of it up. Anyway, if you will notice, there's, we got some swelling right here. This is actually the crop that's not ending very quickly, very well. I actually got a swab in there, down to there, got a sample of this, and then I also got a sample of the feces at the back. Our buddy here is a little weak in the rear end, not really truly paraparetic, but still weak, um, because he's got some pretty profuse diarrhea. As well, he also has an ileus, which is proved by the fact that his crop is not ending very well. This is most likely caused by the Vibrio. Vibrio meaning that layman's term, it stands for Highly motile, mostly gram negative bacteria, of which species of Vibrio can be Campylobacter, Helicobacter. These are all pathological organisms. I have seen Vibrio in lions, tigers, bears, dolphins, and sea turtles, um, as well as dogs and cats and fish. Yeah, I've seen a lot of fish too. Um, people. And people. Yeah, people get it as well. Um, anyway, so uh, with this in mind, we're going to go ahead and start our treatment. Uh, he's going to get a dose of antibiotic before we leave orally and hopefully that'll be enough in here to start killing this stuff and the other medication will be enough to start pushing things through and hopefully by tomorrow or the next day we'll see a duck that's pretty much feeling a whole lot better. Okay. Um, in the meantime, uh, just kind of keep him warm, bring him inside where you can watch him or just someplace where he's out of the weather because it is kind of chilly outside. And I can think of nothing else I'd like to tell you, except for thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> right. You're my hero. We'll talk to you in a while later. Bye. Okay, in the other room, we have a, uh, a duck who's got some mild paraparesis and it's weak in the rear end, has some ileus, things are not moving too well, and if you'll notice in the background, you can actually see things swimming. This duck actually has a pretty bad case of Vibrio. Um, right about the uh, 6 o'clock position, you can actually see some stuff moving in the debris. And there is a finger over my stuff. Okay. Um, <laughs> Nothing is sacred around here, but that just makes it more fun. Um, anyway, so we have tons and tons of Vibrio. I would rate this as a plus four out of four, so it's pretty bad. I'm going to go ahead and treat this bird. It also has um, some tracheitis and some respiratory tract infection, so hopefully one antibiotic will cover everything, and I will continue this sample, and we'll see what happens from there. Later. <laughs>